Hey guys, welcome back. War Bomb here, bringing you another episode of PTCGO live content. Now, today, people, today my voice may sound a little bit different. I literally just got out of bed. I wanted to record this video because I have a really busy day to today, actually. So, I want to make sure I can get this video recorded before tonight so I don't have another thing where, I, where I'm streaming at nighttime and recording at the same time and all that shenanigans. Let me know how you thought about that last video, by the way, guys, the Sylveon video, because um, it was a little bit different. I ended up cutting out the first game because the first game wasn't terribly interesting. Um, so, I cut it out. And I wanted to make the video shorter so it could render it faster. That way I could upload it in time because I'm trying to get a video out once a day, every day for you guys. So it's very important that I got that video out, at least from, from my personal preferences. Remember guys, drop a like if you have not already. Remember 40 likes at the end of the, at the end of each week, I do check all the likes. Every video that got 40 likes that is in a live stream. I do go and pick five winners that answer the common question of the day or just overall talk about random stuff in the video. Um, and today's uh, question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Pokemon? that has multiple forms and which form is your favorite? Cause you know how we have like Giratina, Deoxys, Oracorio, a couple of examples there. Well, I asked that question because today we're playing Lycanroc finally. And let me tell you guys, today we are out for blood <laughs> with our eyes, you know what I'm saying? It's a deck we built on stream and it was a first draft that ended up doing really well in two games. So I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna change it at all. But uh, it's a really, really cool, uh, thing I didn't want to put in the other Lycanroc because you know it's Guardians Rising. Let's show off all the. <sighs> <sighs> like I said, I just got out of bed. Whew, that was really strong. Mm. But like I was saying, I want to show off all the new cards. I don't want to play any of the old stuff. So this is not a disruption route. This is pure offensive. Because Lycanroc's a really really cool Pokemon. 200 HP, just like Sylveon. Its attack claw slash is 110 damage, just like Sylveon. So we're going more of the offensive route, but as a really cool ability being bloodthirsty eyes uh, when you play this poke when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your pokemon during your turn you may um switch your opponent's bench pokemon with their active pokemon it's always hard to read this it's easier to read these in full art it's so weird but essentially it's a lysander effect whenever you evolve which to me is cool and all because like lysander is good you don't have to play as many lysanders and you have a lot more control in the game uh, but to me, it's like one of those, one, these are going to be one of those decks that are going to be a lot stronger whenever rotation happens. Because you'll be able to hit bigger numbers easier. And uh, we're losing Lysander, so now you'll be complete control with this kind of deck. So, um, I mean, it's good now for sure because we have evolutions to make sure we can hit for weakness. But it's also got Dangerous Rogue GX, which is a Subtown GX attack, right? 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's a lot of damage. Like, like you got to understand that. A lot of players don't just put two Pokemon down on their bench. You're usually hitting for a lot more than just like 100 damage or something like that. Okay, I need to stop yawning. I need to splash my... I have, I have a bottle. I have a cup of water right there. I'm about to splash my face with it, I swear. Anyways, we're playing a 4-4 line. I'm playing 4. I usually wouldn't play 4, but just because like of its ability and the fact that we can control whenever we um, knock things out, I want to play 4. I'm also playing a 2-2 line of Carbink, because uh, Safeguard Carbink is still good in things like Volcanion and Darkrai. And um, Carbink Break. Carbink Break is... <laughs> Carbink Break is a thing. Attach any two energy cards when you discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. That includes our DCEs and our strong energies. For whatever reason, I never knew it could attach DCEs, but I knew it could attach strong energies, so... I just never been... i never been in a position where I would play DCEs and Carbink would do that, but... Because our attack is only a fighting and a DCE, we can essentially fully charge up a car, uh, fully charge up a Lycan Rock just by attacking with Carving Brick. It's kind of wild. Um, I am playing two EVs with the um, with the EV Lucians, um, El Jolto and Vaporeon, Flareon, just to hit things super effectively. I'm also playing two Leles because two Leles are still good, and I'm always playing one Shaman. I don't understand this and how it moves me over here. But anyways, that's going to be the Pokemon, guys. Let's go ahead and go over the trainers. We are playing one Escape Rope for switching purposes. Uh, two Field Blowers, because I don't want to lose against Garb. Um, two Level Balls. Uh, I didn't want to play Level Balls at first, but because it grabs this, 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 I want to play. I want to at least put in two, so I cut out two Trainer Mail for him. I'm only playing two Trainer Mail now. Uh, the Garb matchup is not going to be great, because once again, we only hit for 110, and if they disrupt enough, they can knock us out. But... The goal here is that um, we keep shuffle drawing until we're put in a position to where Carbink every time um, every time a Garb 
every time garb shows up and disrupts one of our energy we go into carb ink and carb ink um uses uses its uh attack to charge up like a rock again Th that kind of shenanigans you know what i mean Rescue Stretcher over Super Rod because Super Rod's not that great because we're putting back energy. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep our energies on discard pile for carving. Um, two trains mail for consistency. Four Ultra Ball. Four VS Seeker. My mouse just went off. Like, what? <laughs> four Ultra Balls, four VS Seeker. One Hex Maniac. Only one Lysander because we do play four Lycan Rocks. It was, I decided it was a cut to make. If I want to cut another card, uh, a lot of people keep telling me on the stream to cut Lysander. I disagree because it's still nice to have the whenever you want to use Lysander option because Lys uh, Lycanroc is cool, but Lycanroc doesn't give you complete control, right? Because sometimes you're forced to evolve, sometimes you uh, so just to make sure you can stay in the game. And once you evolve, you don't have that ability again. Uh, obviously, you have four times to use it at most, but then some cards could be prized. I once played a game that had two Rock Ruffs prized, so having Lysander was kind of clutch. So I, I do think Lysander is like really important in this deck, but I can see people's arguments for cutting it altogether. Two ends, one Olympia because switching is important. I don't want to have to discard energies too much. One Kikui just because you know it's a fighting type deck. Might as well throw in as much um, as much support as possible to increase our damage. No, I believe three Sycamore, because that's what I do now. Uh, three Choice Bands, because Choice Band is, mm, is kind of nice when you're playing against Tauros and uh, for like for Carbings or Drampa and stuff like that. Just hitting that extra damage is kind of big. We are playing four Strong Energies, four Double Colorless Energies, and four Fighting Energies. But that's going to be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a couple of games. Because we're out for blood tonight. <laughs> I love the deck. It's, it's kind of cool. I had a lot of fun playing it last night. Even though I only played two games, I'm hopefully they were both like very easily like they were both 100% my like favor, because like I was or just just because I was like steamrolling my opponents at that point. Um, fighting's also a good type in general, just because uh, not much resists fighting, and you also play Jolteon, so the things that do resist fighting, you're most likely hitting for super effective after the resist. And okay, we have a Rock Ruff Fleet, that's good. Although we don't really need the rest of these cards. Hopefully, we're not playing against Garb. I'm trying to think of what I want to get, because I can probably drop Lele and get something off of it. But I'm not too sure what I would want to get. Let me see what I top deck. We're playing a Milotic. Interesting. Um, I'm probably going to Sycamore here. Let me just drop Lele. I can get a supporter I want to discard anyway, so it's not a big deal if I grab this. Um, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Olympia, because that might come in clutch later. Although we are losing one one Seeker, I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. We still have Rescue Stretch in the deck. Actually, I haven't double-checked. I should probably double-check. I'm going to attach this because it's whatever. Uh, attach this as well, and I'll stick more here. We don't need Flare on this game. I don't think we need any of the Evolutions this game, to be honest. But we have a Carbink, and we have another Rock Ruff down, which is actually super-duper handy. And we have an end for next turn, so we got a bunch of really nice stuff. And we have all of our Carbinks. How many Lysanders are prized? We have... I think we just discarded one. So we have no Pokemon prize. We have our Rescue Stretcher. Doesn't look like we have any energy prize either. Wow, what's prized? I hope it's not anything crazy that I just missed. I'm going to pass because I can't attack. I am playing the corner Rock Ruff. I think the corner Rock Ruff is better. Um, the thing Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. You can always Lysander and like force him to stay active while you set up. Because sometimes this deck whiffs a lot of setups. But for the most part, we should be okay. We don't play any stadiums either. We could play Brooklet Hill. But once again, space in the deck is kind of tight. It's not really worth it. Besides, so Brooklyn Hill can help your opponent as well, and I'm not a big fan of that. He's playing something with Milotic. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. He's on a belt. I know the... Is it the current Milotic? Like, you can get stuff from your discard pile by evolving or something like that? I don't remember. But hopefully, I can get a Lycanroc. Uh, and then with that Lycanroc, be able to knock out Manaphy. Because that's two prizes in my favor right there. But I need to get the Lycanroc first. I still play our full Ultra Ball. I don't know what that does. But he just did 20 damage to me. I feel insulted. I feel insulted. Uh, we got a Rescue Stretcher, which is perfect. Because that gets me... Oh, no. There's no, not a Lycanroc down there. Well, I don't want to use the Rescue Stretcher yet. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to end here. Please give me Lycanroc, though. Because that would be ideal. Oh, nice. We got Lycanroc. And I'm going to discard these two. I'm not going to discard the strong energies, but I am going to discard an energy. I'm going to grab Lycanroc. I'm not going to do anything else besides grab Lycanroc, though, because we don't really need to. So we do have a Lycanroc prize. I thought we discarded one, but I was wrong. But with the Choice Band, we actually knock out Manaphy. So I am going to use this, and I'm going to knock out this Manaphy here with uh, Claw Slash. 
get my two prizes. I have Shaman still live, which is why I, want, I didn't want to play it down yet. I could have drawn four cards, but eh, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, we have two Ultra Balls prize. I'm glad we drew that Ultra Ball there. But, I mean, if he doesn't bench a Pokemon, we just win. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Carving Break is going to be nice. Uh, I know that there's one in the Discord pile, so I could play Rescue Stretcher, but whatever. I'm not in a rush to get it yet. I can get another uh, Lycan Rock down once I set this one up. You know, the DC to do so, though. Let's see if he grabs my Lodic. What is he? He covered his special charge. I don't know what this deck is. I've seen something you use. I used to play with my Lodic for like things like Raichu and stuff, but I don't know what this is right now. You know, before Puzzle of Time was introduced. I even played it with Puzzle of Time at some point. You can evolve. You may put a card from your discard pile to your hand. So you can he, she can just put whatever card she wants, including Manaphy. The attack is whatever. It puts Choice Band instead. Um, grabbing an N here, which is a pretty decent play. Um, you may have your opponent switch your active Pokemon on his or her bench Pokemon. You could do 90 and force me to switch. We got another Lycanroc, which is not great. We don't really need it. But we got an Energy, and we also have a Seeker for Sycamore. So we have a couple things going for us right now. But this is what I mean, like... I'm, I'm kind of in a position where I really should evolve because I want a Sycamore this turn. And because of that, I'm losing one of my one of my Lysander effects. Although I could just use it right now. Never mind. Uh, if she puts down another Pokemon, I could actually use this like a rock effect and uh, knock it out with Dangerous Rogue. Not yet, but I will eventually. Oh, then the Glaceon comes in. That's a pretty decent play. Um, Alright, well, I'm definitely going to Sycamore here. Let me go ahead and do this. I think actually I'm gonna hold. How much am I doing right now? 140. Mm, I don't get a knockout, but I do have a Lele that can get a knockout at some point. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start charging up Lele because what I can do is I can attack with this retreat and attack with Lele. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lie center this thing out to do damage to it. I'll grab another Rock Ruff. Let me go ahead and make that play I was just talking about. I'm going to damage it here, and then I'm going to draw either DCE or another Fighting Energy, and then attack with Lele once she starts attacking me. So I like that play. I'm okay with that play, and this is why I don't play Rangers in a lot of my decks anymore. Uh, any of my Evolution decks, I should say. I played in some of my other decks. Um, EVs just don't help me right now. So I will put down this. Actually, I'm going to save that position open for uh, Shaman just in case. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Claw Slash for 140. Regirock wouldn't be bad in this deck either. If you want to play like pure, pure, pure offensive. Although I do think it's important to have a bunch of spaces open for Lycanrocks and Carvings and Shamans and Leles. So I don't think I don't think it would actually fit in this deck. But we didn't get a fighting energy, which kind of sucks. Let's see if we get like something off of this because we might get a DC or something. And no fighting energy yet either. Oh man! But we have a we have space for shaman, so I will probably just drop this to get a shaman. Hopefully, get a DCE because we only have. Well, then again, there's only one basic basic fighting left. But we should have three DCEs left because I'm pretty sure we had all of our energies from what I saw. If not, this could be a problem. Also, playing Giratina that could be actually huge. No, not really because we have the ability, the ability that uh, attaches the energies from the discard pile. So it's actually not a big deal. But hopefully, ah, oh, nice, the top decks. The top decks. I'll go ahead and play Choice Band as well. Do some damage. And Retreat here, unfortunately, getting rid of one of my DCEs. Um, but that's fine, because we get a knockout here. And we can just always use Carbink Break to set up. I will just Energy Drive for knockout. Boom, 170. My god, Lele, calm down. Lele's so broken, dude. There's a Lycanroc and an N. Hopefully my opponent doesn't end me. That would be ideal. But with this strong energy and eventually we can get Carbink down, we'll be in a position to where we can just charge up all of our Lycan Rocks again while doing some pretty decent chunks of damage. So I'm okay with this. So hopefully I can... I'll probably set up this one because it's not damaged. Besides, I have to attach two energies with it. So um, there's no strong energies in the discard pile yet though, which is kind of interesting. I will go ahead and Ultra Ball for a carving break because I do want to start attacking with carving break this turn um, is it prized oh it's prized oh that sucks 
Um, all right, let me grab Shaman and try to get the rescue stretcher. Okay, I thought it wasn't prize, but that's just me. That's just me messing up. Do I Lysander here? Because I could. I could go for this uh, Giratina. I only hit for... Well, I don't have a DC. I'm just going to drop this to see if I get anything off of it. If I can get a rescue stretcher, that'd be ideal, but I doubt it. I'm just going to drop it just because... Um, oh nice, oh my god, the luck lately, I mean it's like every other video at this point, let me go ahead and grab Carbink, it's like every other video at this point, but it looks like she's just going to forfeit because we got the Carbink break, which means disruption doesn't matter at that point, but we'll get one more game, it is really early and I'm trying to make this video a little bit shorter just because you guys have been, uh, a lot of you guys have been slowly catching up to my videos, so if I make one every now and then pretty short, we'll be okay. It looks like we're playing against grass, so it's probably Decidueye. Decidueye is a problem because we can't play our items, but uh, if we can get a decent early game, and discard some energies, you get Carbink out and not be knocked out, stuff like that, we can be in a good position. Uh, we also play Flareon, so I have, to, I have to set up a Flareon as well. And no basics here. But yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon I need to set up, but if everything goes well, we can set them up. Decidueye is going to be kind of annoying, though. We do have Lele Hex. So we have we have some options, uh, and apparently we lead with Lele, so that's just phenomenal. Um, let's see, what can we do this game? I can actually attack with Lele, Choice Band, uh, DCE. I don't think they play Field Blower, so I'm actually going to do that just because I can right now. Uh, I need this Flareon, so I don't want to discard the Flareon. I will go ahead and discard these two though, because I can get Carbink later. I will grab a Rockruff. Because uh, I feel like that's the most important. We have one prize, but we have all of our li uh, Lycan rocks, so we can Lysander around a little bit more. And I will go ahead and play N here. We can do big damage with this. I don't think they play Field Blower, but they might. Ooh, this is a weird hand. Oh, this is really, really bad for us. Um, I'll keep the Lele in hand. Um, Ultra Ball is okay here. Ultra Ball grabs us Carbink or Eevee. Okay, we don't need all of these. But I also want to grab Shaman as well. Alright, let's grab Shaman instead. Um, let's drop these two. Unfortunately, I keep dropping energies, but I need, I need to grab Shaman. Because I need to draw as much as possible during my first turn and play all my items. So I'm going to grab Shaman here. Um, let's see what we can do. Oh my god, really? That's crazy. Oh man. I'll pass. That sucks. Really? <sighs> Hopefully I don't get item lock before I can, you know, do a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna have to grab N off this Lele now, which is really, really annoying. I don't know why he dropped that knowing I'm playing uh, Lycanroc, but he does play Field Blower. Oh, that sucks. That means I lost all my all of my things. Who plays Field Blower in in this deck? He don't have room to play items like that. Like, huh? Unless he's like bluffing me and he's not actually playing Vileplume, but like this is bad. Don't play Field Blower in your decks, guys, because it doesn't do anything. Because once you have your Bioplum out, like you can't do anything, and your opponent having belts or float stones or anything like that doesn't really matter to you. Whatever though. I mean, I had to play them down so I could play Shaman. The choice bands aren't going to help me, anyways, because like I already get two KOs on everything. It was just going to be nice for the Lele. Uh, I'll let him do the 60 damage though. I'll do a big chunk in return. Let him knock me out. Have a Lysander ready, or have a Lycanroc ready next turn. Or not, maybe I shouldn't do that. Ooh, carving, thank god. Alright, um. I'm gonna attach this here. And. Should I just let her knock. let him knock me out? It doesn't do anything if I let him knock me out. Because I can just knock him out with carving break. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I'll just pass. It doesn't matter. Because next turn I can play Lele down, get another Lele set up eventually, and um, all that good jazz. But I haven't played any items, and rip the dream. Rip the dream. It's alright though. He's playing N for us. As long as he doesn't item lock, we'll be in an okay position. But even if he does item lock, I think we can get away with a lot of stuff. We got another Lycanroc, but we didn't get another Fighting Energy. Another DCE, I mean. Or Carving Break, that would have been nice. Seeker is okay, because we can grab N if we need to. Escape Rope is okay as well. It all depends. Oh, he's just gonna horn attack here. Okay, so we're in an okay position now. Uh, let me drop Rock Ruff. Ooh, there's a DCE. Top deck DCE. That's really nice. Um, let me play Escape Rope. 
That way I don't have to get rid of the energy on top of Lele. And then I'll knock out the Tauros with a Lysander effect. Let me do this. So give me that Tauros. Boom. I get some knockout here. Let me play N. I know N is going to probably set him up because he's stuck, but I need something to do. Like, I need to play as many items as possible. So I'm hoping to draw a lot of items. Um, but apparently it's impossible for me to draw items. But the hand's not bad. So I'll, I'll take the hand. We do get another... We do have uh, Eevee down, so we can finally put down Flareon whenever we get the chance in case of Decidueye. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this man out with Claw Slash. Boom. 260 damage. I will take it. That's why I was wondering why he put down Tauros when I was clearly playing Lycanroc. Well, there's my Sycamores and Hex. Okay, so that might be handy. I mean, it's not going to be handy because I'm going to Sycamore, Sycamore away my Hex. And once he puts out Item Luck, I can't Seeker for it back. But, you know, the, the dream was there. <laughs> this is my item locks I do hit for 130 so I knock out plume uh, and I, because I hit for 130 I also knock out shaman so if I get like uh, another lichen rock off of the sycamore I'll be in a really good position but this man's probably gonna start setting up deciduize uh, I guess you can start picking picking off my uh, my lele and the thing is I'm weak to grass I think yeah, so like that could be annoying because that means one feather arrow plus an attack will knock me out. But if I can just keep using Lysanders to move move my opponent's Pokemon around, I should be okay. I wish I had more space for more Rock Ruffs, but fortunately that's not going to be the case. It's just what happens in a deck like this. You have to play your Shamans, you have to play your Lelys, which means you're already losing a lot of bench space. Carving Break is super important for late game, or mid to late game I should say. Man, if this man just put a couple more Pokemon down, I would knock. I could knock this out. If you, and by a couple, I mean a full bench because I don't have any more choice bands. Because all of them are gone already. Is Eevee Lele's for N or for Sycamore? Hopefully it's for Sycamore. Because I actually like my hand, but he's going to end me. It's not a big deal. Just if she, and once again, if they, don't, if they don't item lock, I'm in a good position. But I am losing my Sycamore. But I'm not losing my Hex, which means if I need to get play, if I draw a bunch of items on Hex, I am in a good position. It does not happen, but we did get a Rock Ruff, which means I can knock out Lele or knock out Shaman. Actually, I can knock out Lele as well, which is probably more important. So right now I'm doing 170, and if I get Flareon off this top deck, I'm gonna knock out Sidjuai instead. But I need one more Lysander, which there doesn't seem to be any. Also, we're in a bad position. But actually, can I knock out? Let's see, one 150. Oh, my 200. Two t I knock out I knock out Decidueye because of Kukui. I'm knocking out Decidueye. Hey, look at this. This is dope. This is dope. I'll take it. Kukui, uh, Lysander out this. Play Kukui. So it's like I'm playing two supporters in one turn, which is already super duper strong in itself. But he put down a full bench for us. So, and even if we were to play like a second Shaman and Sky Return it, it's still 200 because the strong energy is 220. And because of my Kukui, that's 240. Without even the need to play... Uh, uh, Flareon, which is kind of crazy. Oh man, I like it. I like. I'm like. I really like this deck. I'm a big fan of this deck. That doesn't matter anymore. He's probably gonna retreat into the Sidjuai now that I think about it. Feather Arrow into the Lele, slowly killing me off, which is whatever. It's a backup attacker if anything. What's he gonna do? He's really deciding what he wants to do. But I think he's gonna switch it to Sidjuai. No, he's only going to rally because he's just going to sack it off. But unfortunately for you, good sir, it's not going to work against me. Give me that. Yes. Yes. And unless I'm doing my math wrong, this should be a knockout. One, two. Ooh, very nice. And I will go ahead and Dangerous Rogue GX for knockout here. And then all I have to do is knock out Shaman and uh, it's game. Let's see. Rescue Stretcher and N. Well, at least I... Uh, there's, there's actually a bunch of cards I don't want right now. I'm not going to lie. I haven't got any energy attachments either, which is really problematic. Sycamoring here. I wish I could Sycamore, man. Let's see. What can I do here? There's not much I can do here. If I can top deck a Lysander, I win the game. If I don't, then rip me. I guess. <laughs> There's an Oddish. She's just sacking off the Oddish now. Can I get a Lysander here? No, but I do have a Sycamore. 
which is kind of handy because I can toss all my items. I don't want any of these cards anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to play Sycamore. I would love some energies to start attaching with. Alright, fighting energy, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, I can actually start attaching fighting energies, which is pretty handy. I'll start attaching the Lycan Rock, I suppose. Actually, I'll attach the Carbink, because that's probably more important. We have a Lysander for next turn anyway, so we can probably win next turn, as long as he doesn't end us. But even if he does end us, somehow knocks us out, we have Carbink to reattach energies. But yeah, I really like this deck. I'm a big fan of it. But he has no play. Like, his only play is to go into Lele. Or, like, the Sidui. If he draws it. But then I might get Flareon, so his only play is really Lele. He's gonna end me, that sucks. So much of my life sander free game. Rip me. But I'm drawing only one, which is also really, really bad. Lysander. Nope, Ultra Ball. I was really hoping for the Lysander there. I was hoping I could speak it into life. <laughs> uh, but this is actually really nice. Recording in the morning, my family's not bothering me. Because usually they would yell at me for just talking to myself. Because they don't know that I record. But for the most part, they um, haven't been bothering me. Because I think it's just because I don't speak very loudly anymore. Since I like fix the uh, microphone to where you guys could hear me. Even though like the audio might sound weird here and there just because of the way I uh, set up the audio, set up my microphone. 100 damage is a problem because that's a knockout. Lysandry. No. Hex though doesn't do anything. Um, I think I'll give her the knockout because then I can go into Carbink and set up a Lycanroc. Then again, that could be problematic because I don't want him knocking out uh, Lele. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I'm going to retreat. Because it doesn't matter if I retreat. Use a Pokemon via active. Get rid of the DCE. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and set up another Lycanroc with Diamond Give Tier. We'll set up this one right here with a strong energy and a DCE. And there we go. Fully set up. Even though it's a 3 energy attack, because of that we can do our DCE with Carbink, it's fully set up to attack. And I can just keep doing this as long as I want. Just set up all my fighting types. Energy drive here, but I think you're in knockout range now, right? No, you're only, I'm only doing 130. Um, I'm just gonna do it again, I guess. Diamond gift. Let's put two strong energies on this. <laughs> oh, we only have one left. Never mind. I'll put it on this because that should be a knockout now. Now I just retreat for game. Because nothing in his field takes and it takes a hit next turn. Right now I'm doing 2040. I'm doing 150 damage. That's enough to knock this out. So I'll be okay. And that's energy drive. And that's GG for me. So good game against my opponent. Um, maybe. Well, see, it's, it's games like this that make me think maybe I don't want to play the EV Lucians. Um, but like they, they, they help in a, lot, in a lot of cases. But maybe Flareon is cuttable? Who knows? All I know is that this is just a rough draft of the deck. I haven't tested it enough to really decide if I can take out the Evolutions or not. It's just what I would do for the time being to play safe. But this is the deck list, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If I were to take out the Evolutions, what would I do? I think I would just take out Flareon. Because I feel like these two are kind of important. And if I were to take out Flareon, I would put in maybe another trainer mail for more consistency maybe more energies who knows but that's i'm gonna leave that up to you guys be sure to drop a like if you have not already subscribe share all that good jazz let me know what you think of the deck let me know what decks you want me to play in the future because right now i'm in a position where i'm just literally taking deck ideas i only wanted to play like and rock because somebody keeps telling me to play like and rock over and over again and one of my lovely subscribers gave me three like and rock gx's since i didn't pull any and then i pulled one so i got four so shout out to that um so thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.